Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how Prisma 3D IK Humanoid Rig works. Let's get started. The IK Rig, short for Inverse Kinematic Rig, simplifies character animation by allowing you to move characters in a more natural, human-like manner. This feature is available in all professional PC software for character animation and is also available in Prisma 3D. The IK Rig in Prisma 3D can be a bit complex and frustrating to use. Sometimes the bones behave abnormally if not placed correctly, mainly because Prisma 3D lacks a weight paint feature. Weight painting in rigging is a technique used in 3D animation to control how a mesh deforms when the bone moves. However, despite these challenges, the IK Rig is still usable and can help you animate characters more easily. The simplest way to use this ink rig is to start by importing a character that consists of a single object. Then you can rig it by accurately placing the bones on the character. But what if the character is made up of multiple objects? In that case, make sure to watch carefully so you can fully understand what I'm about to explain. I have this character's arm right here, and what you need to do now is import a cube. Copy the cube and place each copy at the joints of the arm. Next, group the cubes together and move the arm to the side. Then copy this cube and drag it upward. Now, duplicate the group of cubes, rotate it to the other side and leave a bit of space in the middle. Finally, group both duplicate groups together. Now click on the group and add the IK humanoid rig, carefully placing the bones on the cubes. Delete these two groups. Then select the right hand bone and elbow bone, group them together and move the group outside. Next, locate the shoulder and bring it out. Then you can delete the group. Now we're left with only the right hand bone. Now under the shoulder, delete the neck and left hand, leaving only the right hand. Then move the arm back to the center, aligning it with the position of the bones. Place the upper arm in red under the shoulder for the upper right arm. Next. Position the forearm in the right forearm slot and the hand in the hand slot. And there you have it. The arm is now IK rigged. You can use this same process on other parts of the body, like the legs. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a tutorial on rigging a full character. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.